Hi guys, happy Thanksgiving. This is your girl Talia with Blue Magic Direct and today we're going to talk about downloading the Cody 17.0 Krypton beta version. Okay, don't be scared. I got you. I got you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get right into this. Of course, you guys know that I'm going to be installing it on my Mac, but they have all the applications for Okay, guys, here we are at Cody.tv slash download, and here you will see um, actually the 16.1 Jarvis, which is already ready for its uh, installers, but we're going to go down just a little bit, and we're going to get the Krypton 7.0 Early Access Beta 5 and nightly okay so here you can install it on your windows um your linux your android your raspberry pi um your ios jailbroken um but i'm gonna install this on my mac okay um also like i said you gotta make sure that your security settings are um that allow any developer to put an app on your Mac if you're using a Mac. If you have Windows or uh, Linux or Google Play or P Raspberry Pi, you don't have that issue. Um, but, like I said, check your settings. If you want to know how to do that, um, I'll give you a link in the description for our other videos, and that way you can um, see how to uh, update your settings, okay, so that you can allow this on your Mac if you are using MacBook, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, get into the 16-bit. Um, one thing I will say is that when you do um, install this, if you do currently have Kodi um, on your your interface already, close it um, so that you can do this install. You don't have to uninstall the 16.1 in order to put the 17 Krypton on there, okay? But just make sure that it's closed so that it can update the information that you already have on there, okay? I'm going to go ahead and download this. And we're going to let that load up for a little bit. Just give it a few minutes. Go grab a cup of coffee. Come back. The download will be ready for you. Okay? Now, basically, I'm just is going to follow the same process as the 16. Okay? Just as if you did the 16.1, the, the, 16 the 17 Krypton is going to follow the same process. And you guys will see what I'm talking about. Okay? All right. We're going to go ahead and open it. Okay, and just like before, um, the Kodi is going to come up, you know, for your applications or if you have Windows, it'll say, um, do you want to go ahead and run this or set this up? And you basically just say, yes, you want to run it. Um, for In my case, I'm going to go ahead and drag it to my applications. Okay, so it's copying it to my applications. So it'll take a few minutes, a couple seconds, actually. Okay, so basically, I can get out of this. And you'll see that you have your Cody up there, but you can go ahead and, and click on your launch pad, or you can basically see that now the Cody has been updated. And you can go right into it. Okay, you want to download from the internet. Of course, uh, the tablet, the Mac is going to give you this. You want to go ahead and open it, or you want to run it. Okay, I still have my TV add-ons in there, and as a build, okay. All right, so basically this is how it comes up, guys. It's a little different from uh, what we're what you're used to uh, when it comes to the interfaces, but I'm going to show you how to navigate this. It's a lot different from the Kodi 16.1, so you got to pay attention to a few things that are going to, you know, make your life easier when you're transferring over to the 17, okay? So here you have all your, your, your movie tabs. This is where you can import movies, um, TV shows, um, your music, of course. You can have your, you know, library for your music. Um, TV, this is where your a PVR, uh, IPTV client comes in. I already have mine loaded on here, but I'll show you how to get that loaded as well. 
um, your radio, which is also connected to like the TV, PVR, that's what that is. Um, these are your add-ons. Um, so basically, here's a library for all your, your video add-ons, your music add-ons, program add-ons, and there's, of course, no picture add-ons there, okay? But uh, I pretty much use the escape button to get back home for right now. <laughs> we'll use that. Um, your pictures, your videos, if you want to uh, update any videos. Okay, so you see there's no settings on here. There's no settings buttons. All your settings buttons are down here. Okay, this is your favorite. Um, this is your file folder. If you want to add um, any um, any sources, this is the quickest way to add your sources. It gets you right into your root, okay? So, mines are already on here. Um, you pretty much add the sources the same way if you want to put in... Um, any route that you that you choose to. Um, if you want to know how to add a route, you can look on our complete setup guide for Cody and um, find out how to add sources. Hello guys, this is some bonus footage. I just felt like I should show you how to add your sources um, on this platform so that you will be aware. So this is just some extra footage to show you how it is a little different, so I just wanted to add it in there, okay? So if you want to go ahead and add a source, you go ahead and um, uh, go ahead and click your file. You want to add your source. And I'm just doing the simple fusion. Okay. Same way. Go ahead and name it fusion. Okay. Now you can escape out of that. Okay. And go to your add-ons and into your Dropbox here. And install from file. It's going to say, okay, for security installation of add-ons, from unknown sources is disabled. You have to go to your settings and you have to click on unknown sources. You just have to click that you want to access unknown sources and press yes. Okay. Now from that, you're going to escape out of that. Go back to install from zip file. And I, I guess I'll do uh, Fusion 2. Start here. Um, Video Hub Wizard is going to bring up my configuration. Okay. Because I already have it on there. Okay, I will go to my program add ons, go to Configuration Wizard, and I will go into my Mac. And yes, I would like to customize it, and it should download the configuration. But it already had it on mine, so just be aware. So if it gives me an error, that's because I've already have it downloaded. Okay, so that's all good. It's basically going to, should reset for me. Okay, so no problem. It's something else going on with my PVR client, so don't mind that. So basically, everything should be back the way, it, you know, the way it is, okay? Um, just to give you an idea of how to upload your add-ons uh, to the 17.0 Krypton, okay? Um, also, your uh, major setting buttons are here for your player settings, media settings, uh, TV settings. Um, basically, you know, how to set up all, the, all those are still the same, but they just look a little different, okay? Um, your service settings, system settings, um, it's pretty much all there. It's just a little different. Um, but the main is the file manager, which you'll use for your, your settings for that, of course. And like I said, you can pretty much, instead of going through all that, you can get it right on the main page if you want to add a new source, okay? Of course, here's your favorites. 
if you want to add any favorites, you guys can check out the favorites button um, to figure out how to, the favorites video in order to see how to add your favorites. Okay, um, one thing that is different um, is the add-ons, okay? Um, so if you want to, so I want have my video add-ons, right? So usually, you know, I have all my video add-ons. Usually they have like a little button down there that says that you want more okay here they don't have that button <clears throat> you actually uh, have to go into your settings in order to not your settings you have to go into your um, bucket basically <laughs> your uh, box and go into my add-ons and go into all in order to find them all Okay, so they're all there, but if you want to enable one, um, you just basically have to go into all of them and then, you know, go ahead and enable it. Okay, so one thing I do want to show you is how to basically um, get your IPTV back up and running okay it's a little different um they don't have the fancy library but um the iptv function is you know working fine with no issues on this platform okay so it's it's going to bring up the video in just a few minutes or not <laughs> okay you never know with the IPV TV list okay well, I'm gonna show you how to basically get that get, get that back going um, if you want your IPTV list basically you are going to go into your your add-ons and go into your box Go into my add-ons, of course, and there it is, guys. It's your your PVR client, um, and of course, you have your PVR simple client, and you basically configure and enable from here. Okay, so you configure and enable from there. Okay, just to kind of give you guys a quick. Um, you know, way to get that back. And so all the lists that you had loaded will reload um, back into your PVR IPTV list. Okay, so you do have to reactivate that. So just a little different, but pretty much um, everything is there. You know, everything is, is, is um, there. You don't have to worry. It's just a matter of knowing how to connect with the interface. Um, you know, so if you know how to basically use the um, add-on list, you know, the add-on uh, list that you had in the Cody 16.1, then this is not going to be too hard to figure out as well, okay? So just remember those quick tips. Um, there go your music. Of course, all the program add-ons are in there. Of course, pictures is never there, really, unless you add your own pictures, okay? So don't be afraid to download the 17.1 um, Krypton, okay? I hope that gives you some more information and, you know, that you explore this a little bit more. I'll give you guys some more updates and information on how to break down um, this platform so that you're more comfortable with it. Um, if you want to go a little bit higher and check out all the features and benefits. And I'll give you more updates about the different features and benefits um, of this platform uh, as we go along. I just want to get, you know, get you kick started with it and um, so that you can see it's not so scary in order to kind of upgrade with this program. So if you want to try out the Krypton beta, go for it. Okay? Um, if you're brave enough, <laughs> go for it. If you have any questions or comments about this platform, um, definitely keep me posted. I'll, I'll I love your guys' comments, you're interacting, um, so that gives me a reason to research and do a little bit more um, footwork so that you guys can get the right direct information about this, okay? So please check us out, um, bluemagicdirect.com. Always support our, our downloads and all our resources that we have 
for Cody. We're all about that Cody education and information. Okay? As always, guys, until I see you again, happy viewing. Happy viewing, guys. Have a great Thanksgiving. Bye.